But I tell you this. Prophecy is not to entertain those who are curious. That's not what prophecy is for. It's to bring direction into your life. Direction. Direction. I started a habit many, many, many years ago. I think, I think maybe about 25 years ago that every prophetic word I got, I would document it. I would write it down. So that when it comes to pass, I can give glory and honor to God. Every time someone stands up and tells you and speaks into your life, do not fight that word. The scripture says this, test every spirit. Test every spirit. The fact that you got something that is a bit negative, test the spirit. And you know what that test is? It's spelled T-I-M-E. It's time. Just give it time. If it's of the Lord, it's going to come to pass. If it's not of the Lord, you will never hear of it. You will never remember it. Sindio. Whenever a word comes, it is supposed to correct you. It's supposed to rebuke you. It's supposed to bring you into a place of righteousness. Church, I want you to know one thing. That your place of origination, where you come from, the place where you hail from, has absolutely nothing to do with your destination. Many times we feel or we think or we, we are at a place where you, you, know, you just feel you know, entitled that you should never be tested. The greatest man in the east was tested. Who are you? Some of the things that we go through today, it is because the Lord can entrust you with going through those things. And here we are fighting and saying the Lord doesn't care. The Lord doesn't love us. The Lord left us. But it's because he entrusts you. It was his idea to say, have you considered my servant Job? 